For Yesom Wiki, the visit to all the 319 wards and communities across River State goes beyond soliciting for votes alone. For him, it's more about gathering information on the plight and needs of the people so as to know what policies and infrastructure to put in place when he becomes governor. And when Wiki and other members of the PDP Campaign Council visited Ward 7, Rumokoro in Obiakbo local government area, the team was confronted by the deplorable state of the roads in the area. How can my mother come from here and, and achieve a start to a government and look at the road? Land is perhaps the most important item to the people of River State. Not surprising, the people of Rumo Masi in Ward 8 would like the PDP governorship candidate to help recover land taken away from them. It will interest you to know that the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria released part of the old aerodrome land to us, but the River State government seized it. The hope for you getting your land is dependent now to make us come into power. If you vote APC, it is the same government that has seized the land from you. Yes. Therefore, you won't get it yet. At Ward 13, Wiki promised to provide befitting health centers, schools, and markets in Obiakpo. In addition, the former education minister also promised to provide security, do away with multiple taxation, as well as create an enabling environment for doing business in River State. If you vote for us and was sworn in May 29, in six months' time, all of you who have properties here in River State, you must have your seal of hope. Yesom Wike again pleaded with the people not to compromise on their decision to vote massively for the re-election of President Goodluck Jonathan and other PDP candidates in the 2015 general elections. We live over Buhari. No!